Got another question for the titrations walkthroughs playlist. So we're into double figures now with number 10. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. And if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you consider subscribing? Okay, so make a start. So what's meant by an acid? It's a proton donor, or you could say H plus donor. And what's meant by an acid that's weak? It's a proton donor that is partially ionized, so you could say partially dissociated. So before we go into the calculation, I'll just quickly run through the titration readings. So I'll just zoom in a little bit so we can see more clearly. So you can see I've written up 0 0.05. That's because the base of the meniscus is between the 0 and 0 0.1 line. Um, next one, 27.35. Again, base of meniscus is between the 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. Next one, 0 0.10, and that's because the base of the meniscus is exactly on the 0 0.1 line. Really important that that zero is there, though. Uh, next one, 27.65. Again, we're between two lines there. 0.45 for that one, and 27.85 for that one. So there's all the readings there, and obviously the titres are the difference between the initial and final. You'll see I've highlighted those zeros there because I would a common mistake I would see would be those zeros missed off. So in terms of the main titre, remember the trial hasn't been um, put into this table. These are the accurate titrations. So we're looking for two concordant results. So they're results within 0 0.1 of each other, and you can see it's titration 1 and 3. And so therefore, the uh, mean title will be 27.35. So moving on to the calculation now. So the first thing we can calculate is the moles of sodium hydroxide used. Concentration times that mean titrate in decimeters cubed, 0.02188. So to get the moles of citric acid used in the 25 cm cubed for the titration, it's going to be a third of that because of this ratio here. So that comes out at 0 0.00729. The dot 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 just means I've kept the full number in the calculator. So the moles of citric acid in the original solution, the 250 cm cubed solution, is going to be 10 times that number there. So it's just 0 0.00729 dot dot dot. So that means the mass of citric acid in the 250 cm cubed and the two limes that were used to provide the citric acid is going to be moles times the MR of citric acid. So that comes out at 14 grams. So in one lime, there'll be seven grams. So moving on to part C, the teacher wants to scale down the concentration of the sodium hydroxide from 0.8 to 0.2, but they want to have the same titra. So the first thing we're going to say is the sodium hydroxide is four times more dilute. So we're going to need four times less lime juice. So how could we achieve that? Well, we could use half a lime or we could still use two limes, but make it up in four times as much water. So we'd make it up in a one decimeter cubed volumetric flask instead. And finally, the malic acid oxidation so what have we got here that can be oxidized? Well, it's just this secondary alcohol group. So that'll get oxidized to a ketone. So the equation looks like that. So there's that ketone group there, and we generate a water molecule in the process.